I'm Mitch Ryan, and you're watching Student Shorts. Hi, I'm Mitch Ryan and this is Student Shorts, the show that aims to help you, the viewer, celebrate Christmas by broadcasting some student films. Christmas is a time of hope, hoping that the presents we receive are actually good. You know, student films are a lot like presents. You give them a bit of a shake, the possibilities are endless, and then you open them. You're always disappointed. For Keetle Horgan and Siv Haram, their film was no exception. It has nothing to do with Christmas. Or presents for that matter. It's got cops. It's got robbers. And it's got a goddamn golden elephant. Enjoy. The city seems empty at nightfall. People flock to the comfort of their homes in fear of what the darkness hides. The calm sounds make the night seem lifeless, but under the surface, it's busy, busy. My name is Jack, and I'm the mastermind behind this operation. It's a simple game, really. All you need is a little patience. But quite frankly, this night, I was fresh out of that. Wasn't until sunrise lightened up every corner of the city that the call came in. Chippa Sarah, what's your emergency? <laughs> We've been robbed. Calm down, sir. What's your location? I'm the security guard of the Royal Art Gallery. There's a dead man upstairs. I don't know what to do. Don't worry, sir. We're sending our best. They had sent a couple of dicks from Robbery Division. One psycho cowboy type veteran and a rookie hotshot straight out of the academy. They were perfect. But don't forget, this is my story. It's titled Cops, Robbers, and a God Damn Golden Elephant. Enjoy. Finally, 4 hours 13 minutes and 23 seconds. And here they were. WAPD, we're the detectives. No kidding. They love this shit. So what have we got here? This guy called it in. So you're the detectives? Yeah, that's right. This is Johnson, I'm Detective Hunter. Well, it's been four hours. Ah, uh, here we go. That's a bad guy, all right? Tag him. So what happened here? Well, I don't know really. Last thing I remember was sitting on my chair watching the monitors. 
then these two pizza guys came rushing in through the door. Pizza guys, eh? Nothing special about them? Something suspicious? No. Well, they were wearing ski masks. Hey, wait a minute. They were wearing ski masks. And that didn't alarm you? Ten points to Johnson. No. All right, go on. So one of the guys asked me, you ordered pizza? And I said, no, I don't think so. And he said, are you sure? It looks mighty tasty. And it did. It had pepperoni, mushrooms. So then I said, well, it's been hours since I ate. How much do I owe you? And he replied, it's complimentary, sir. Enjoy. And the last thing I remember was taking a bite of the pizza and suddenly feeling a need for a nap. Any idea what made you sleepy? Not a thing. Right, which probably does the pizza for fingerprints. Get someone working on it. But shouldn't we just, like, get it analysed so, or something? Right. Where's the crime scene? It's upstairs. Use the elevator. Let's get cracking, huh? There they go, the top notch in crime fighting. Cool badges, no brains. Predictable, down to every lame comment. Showtime. Coffee, sweet cheeks. Love the smell of a crime scene in the morning. Ah, movie reference. How original. This is where it all went down, all right? I can picture it right now. My guess is they came in through... there. But it's too small. No one can fit in there. Why don't they just use the elevator? Hmm. I don't know. You won't believe some of the things I've seen. Elevator, huh? Nah, way too easy. We'll go with the shaft. This I can show you right now. This is definitely the work of professionals. So far, so good. Surprised they got this far. It's not like I got to pick the cream of the crop. But then again, that was never my intentions. Minor setback. They were now in a bit of a pickle. The security guard said that the lasers were on in this room. Lasers, huh? But how did they get past it? Well, maybe they didn't. If you notice, the artifact's still there. In fact, they could just walk around here, totally unnoticed, and they're home free. No, Johnson. I think there's more to this thing than we realise. These guys are hardcore. All the gadgets they have these days. Suction pads. Yeah, that's it. They use suction pads to climb along the ceiling. That's just crazy enough to work. Now what to do? Good thing professionals know what to do in these circumstances. Just a shame these two aren't professionals. According to television, the wisest thing to do is dance through the laser net as elegant as possible. Alarms seem to be more tolerant to people with rhythm. You can dance, every dance with the guy who gives you the eye, let him hold you tight. You can I'm very pleased I told them this. It's not very efficient, but it cracks me up just thinking about it. But don't forget who's taking you home and in whose arms you're gonna 
What do you think? Suicide? What a shame. Something's definitely not right here, Johnson. Another one of your hunches. Poor and downstairs. Good work, officer. Yeah. Alright, okay, Johnson. But he's already in. Let's see what we have here. Well, there's two of them. So which one's the real one? I'll tell you just that, my friend. Now, replicas, a tricky business, identical to the untrained eye. It's like telling the difference between a Japanese and a Chinese chick. They all look the same. Luckily, I've got enough experience to spot these mistakes. Just need to know where to look. And that, my friends, is why my badge says detective. Open and shut case, Johnson. Shouldn't we get it analyzed? Nonsense. It's crap. Well, let's get some donuts. It's wonderful, the predictability of stupidity. I'm pretty proud right about now. Everything seemed to sort itself out. Like I said in the beginning, all you need is a little patience. Then things will come to you. Triple Zero, what's your emergency? <laughs> We've been lost. Don't worry, sir. We're sending our best. Making a list, I'm checking it twice. Gonna find out whose student films are the worst, but there's no point checking because they're all really bad anyway. Since there's no such thing as Santa, I decided to make my own naughty and nice list. If you want to make it on the nice list, don't send us your film. If you're already on the naughty list, don't try arguing, there's no getting back. Murdoch University lecturer Damien Fasolo knows all too well the repercussions of arguing, as he portrays in our final film tonight, The Road Not Taken.
two roads diverged in a yellow wood. And sorry, I could not travel both. be one traveller, long I stood. And looked down one as far as I could. To where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other, as just as fair. And having perhaps the better claim. Because it was grassy and wanted wear. Though as for that the passing there Had worn them really about the same And both that morning equally lay. In leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day. I'll be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere ages and ages hence. <laughs> Two roads diverged in a wood and I... I took the one less travelled by.
If you've enjoyed the films you've seen on tonight's show, or would like to see more, remember to log on to... Wait a second, wait, 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 wait. I've said this same spiel a thousand times, and you just don't get it. This is serious, people. We've got two weeks. There's no student shorts next week, but on the 6th of January, we return for our epic finale and reveal the winner. So that's it. You don't deserve a final gag, a final witty comment about how crappy I think student films are. Vote for the films, be about it, I'll see you in two weeks. I'm Mitch Ryan. Jeffa is Lemek super cool. So, how do you do that? We will look at each other in the same direction. slept like a dream after doing it twice. She just couldn't stop and by the next week Constance was broke and had nothing to eat. Listen carefully. The money by next week or I am really going to start hurting you. There before him he created life. Also, unwittingly, trouble and strife. He played with his pet all through the night. I'm going to make this decision on my own. On your own? On your own? Look, get on this shit! I just feel like if, if I don't beat you at something, I'll never be able to live with myself! What the hell's going on, Jack? Put the gun down, Charlotte. Max! Where are you going? Come back, Max! We're trying to help you! So we've got about oh, probably over a thousand volunteers that actually go out and deliver the service every night. Thought pattern disrupted. Trepidation detected.
Tranquility setting activated. We're living. So that's it.